Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dark Cloud here. Welcome back to the next episode of the Omega Red. Um, I forgot what it's called. Omega Red Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we beat Misty. We joined. No, sorry, we met our commanding officer in Team Rocket. And we went through a tunnel. And in between episodes, we made it here to Vermilion. And I'll explain what happened in between there. But if you missed the last episode, I recommend you go down in the description below and check out that playlist and check it out. But for now, we're going to do a team recap because we did do some grinding and I don't have my thing open, so give me one second. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um, all right, so we have Nike, the Bereloom, with huge power, and Mega Drain, Sky Uppercut, Stun Spore, and Leech Seed. We have a Primarina now, I still don't have a nickname for that right now, because I don't want to go back and change it, but Bubble Beam, Aqua Jet, Water Gun, and Sing. Got Hammer, the Hitmonchan, with Ice Punch, Crunch, Fire Punch, and Rock Slide, that's a great moveset. Got Evergreen, the Pidgeot, with Tackle, Twister, Gust, and Crunch. That's a bad moveset. Got Felix the Ampharos with Shockwave, Thunderwave, Power Gem, and Confuse Ray. Also a good moveset. And Charlie the Incineroar with Fire Fang, Crunch, Scratch, and Swagger. That's an okay moveset. Um, so as you can see, like we grinded everyone up to um, uh, 37 because we were had such a all-around team and kept losing members, so... We grind it up, and it's actually been a little while since I've actually played, so I just want to go over a few little, like, memos that I had come up in um, my time in between sessions. So, let me just pull them up here real quick. So, one thing I want to ask you guys is, should I read the Spanish? I'm worried that it would come off as offensive, but I'm really not trying for it to be. <laughs> That was my dog, I'm sorry. That actually brings up another point I want to say. Um, one sec. So as you guys know, uh, I do have animals in the room with me. I said that in episode one, but I want to repeat it now because episode one was a little bit rough. So anyone who just skipped it, I'm saying it now. I do have animals in here with me pretty much all the time. And sometimes they distract me a little bit or, you know, or in the background, but... It's alright, we're here, and you can enjoy them whenever they come around. That's how it is. Um, I noticed that there wasn't game audio in the first few episodes, so I've now fixed that as well. So don't worry about that. Um, crits. crits. Crits have been making me so mad in this game. And I, I've decided, rather than getting mad at this game, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna laugh off those crits. I'm just gonna have a good time. You know, it's, it's, it's just a game where it's going to laugh off what happens. It's going to be fine. Um, during the grinding I did, the grinding is so painful in this game because all the levels stay the exact same as, like, the base game. So it's just, oh, man, it's, it's so aggravating. It took me, like, three hours to grind up, like, two Pokemon. It was so annoying. And I, I personally don't get it because you, you, you raise the trainer level but not the actual Mon in the wild, but you don't give a good way to grind. So it's like, why? 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 Anyways, um, during my grinding on the Route Above, there's also a random person who gave me an Ice Stone. So that means that we can evolve the Alolan Vulpix we got earlier as a static if we choose to add it to the team at some point in the future. So... I hope I actually remember that. Okay. That's all. Ooh. Already like five minutes in. Okay. <sighs> I've been thinking about this stuff for a while. Okay, I have not actually explored this town, so we're going to spend the first little bit here just kind of talking to some people and just, you know, enjoying ourselves. You know 
Okay, I guess we got a Burst Seeker. I thought someone else gave us that for some reason. Like, I thought, um... Gary or Green uh, was supposed to give it to us uh, after we beat him in Cerulean, but I could be wrong. Um, I actually want to refresh myself with who's in the PC. Because, like I said, it's been a while for me actually playing, and I just want to make 100% sure I know. Oh, yeah, we have Jangmo. I bet that thing's about to evolve. If I raised it to 37, I bet it'd evolve. Got a Vibrava, got a Vulpix, and I got a Plusle. Oh, man. Lost my Zora super early on, but Barrel, Caspian, Deposit, Beast, man. Well, oh, another thing I forgot to put on, um, layout issues. I noticed that, um, I had missed a few, oh, nice, a few layout changes that, um, I should have had. Oh, no way. Oh. Sweet. So that definitely means we're getting an encounter here. Um, so the thing about layout issues is I am trying to use a new timestamp program. Oh. And we just got a Tepig. Okay. Um... I did notice there were a few layout issues and the timestamp program will hopefully like, I think I'm going to try to like say timestamp whenever something happens like that. So I can remember a little bit better. This topic's about to evolve right now. It's got thick fat. That's nice. Okay. He will probably, he'll be added if uh, we ever lose Charlie. But for right now, he's just going to chill in there. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a Rowlet. Since, you know, they've been running the theme of 7th Gen Static Mon they've been giving you. It's pretty much everything but uh, the Zora. Oh, wait. I got to write it down. Hold on. That's what I forgot. Do, 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 do. Static... Tepig. Okay. Oh, I guess it's locked. Uh, building foundation. Good job. I appreciate you. Another locked door. Are there normally that many locked doors here? I know that you can get the bike voucher from him. Oh. For some reason I was thinking as in like you give him the bike voucher. I feel like I really should um, take advantage of that bike voucher and just run back to Cerulean now. Like it wouldn't take me all that long. Um... Man, it doesn't even let you walk near the house. Okay, okay. That is a bad trade. This is a game I think would have been really interesting to randomize, especially if it randomized your static mon too. Um, okay. I definitely do not want to do that yet. Cave. There's a bunch of encounters over there that we can get, but I really think um, I'm gonna run back and get the bike first. Just talking about Team Rocket. There are actually two people here, so I'm betting this other person does something else. Yep. Um. Let me talk to the other person, see if I have anything to sell, and first of all, buy potions, because that's way more important. You know, I've got nine potions right now. Got a light ball. Let's sell the rare candy, I know that's worth a lot. Okay, that was it. Um, we're going to stock fully up. I'm betting we're getting close to getting hyper potions. 
That's definitely going to be an issue here soon. Um, and once we get high for potions, that'll be very nice. I actually want to check because I know it's going to be an issue. Yep, we only have five of those and zero. Yep. Wait, does the other person have Pokeballs? Because I'd really rather buy Pokeballs. Nice. Oh, I still have 12. Okay. Um, let's just buy 10 of these. And we'll just buy five of these. And we see, we'll see how we're doing after each account. Okay, we're just going to kind of speed through this one. And you guys can get a glimpse of what this route looked like. I just want to run back and get that bike. Because it's just going to shave a lot of time off things for me. Oh, other fun thing to point out. Um, so, you may not have noticed, but I have a new chair now. And uh, my girlfriend actually got it for me for uh, Valentine's Day. And obviously, I super appreciated that. Did I talk to this guy? Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, it's like a super nice chair. Like, I was very surprised. I don't know why I walked in here. Um, it has, like, sponge material, like, on the back and the butt. So, like, you can sit in it quite a bit longer. And it's very nice. Sort of those things that like I was never going to get really for myself especially not right now whenever like I don't really have a lot going for me you know like this isn't making me any money really or anything and it won't for a long time and I feel like that's like a point of success at least in this point is whenever like you know people like you enough to subscribe to you to a per certain point where you can actually start Making uh, money from this. Uh, I'm almost a hundred percent positive you've never been able to jump over those. Wait, can I only do it on the bike? No, you can do it normally. What the heck? I am so confused about that. Can, can you jump it this way? No. Very interesting. I just want to check around here, see if I missed any items. Because I think I only went down the one side. That's obviously an item. Wait, no, I don't have cut yet. That's right. Um, it seems like today is mainly going to be some encounters... Um, and if we're doing really good on time, then we might do the gym, but to be honest, I'm very afraid of the gym. Okay, I can slow it down again. Um, well, since we're here, we might as well get this encounter Silver so million city encounter is nothing. Okay. I forgot I didn't have it registered. Because it's the old games and you can only have one thing registered at a time. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. It's a dupe sake mon right there. And, like, neither of its evolutions are necessarily, like, bad. They're just not great. Thank you for not being a pain, Clam Pearl. Um, hmm. I'm gonna call you... You're gonna be K-Jewelers. You know what they say about K Jewelers, guys. It starts with a K. That was a really bad joke, and that's okay. Sometimes you have you just have to own your bad joke. 
Okay. In fact, don't you need like um, strength to get through here normally? Oh, I forgot to write the encounter there. Okay, just a diglet, that's fine. Diglet can be useful. <laughs> Vermilion. Got a. Got a clam pearl. If I punch this thing, it's gonna die. And in the diglets tunnel, we got a diglet. And I spelled diglet wrong. Alright, this is the time to name it. Mole Man. I think this will fit. No, it won't. Yeah, we're just gonna call him Mole Man. Uh, that, that's a shout out to, um... Mr. Talon and Shady's um, Rival Lock. Great show. Great series. If you guys haven't seen it or don't know about it, you should definitely check it out. It's a quality piece of work. That was a completely pointless way that I feel like led to something in the original and was changed. Uh, da -da -da. You know, I wouldn't have minded a Geodude. I actually kind of love Geodude. Or at least, I really love Golem. I used him in a rival lock I did of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And he, he almost won the entire thing for me doing a solo run with him. It was a good time. You know, I really appreciate what they did here with the gold bats, but I think they should add... Oh, there's arena trap. Makes me wonder what mine had. What's Diglett's other ability? Sand Veil? So where does this lead me? To root... Oh, right. You can't get through here without the cut. And this guy gives you... Not, not strength. Does he give you flash? Porygon for Lickitung. I feel like that guy gave you something originally. Hmm. Oh well. That's interesting. The cave sound was also a Pokemon Center um, entrance sound. Interesting. So it looks like Arena... Tr oh, there is a, grav a lower level Graveler than what the um, actual Geodude... Oh, man, there's the Doug Trio. I feel like they're both rare encounters. And yeah, look, the Geodudes are higher level than the Gravelers. Oh, and a Rog and Rolla. I don't like him as much as Geodude. I don't know. Maybe it's like the lack of human features on him. I just don't like him as much. Okay. Oh, he got me. That's kind of scary. Um... I think, I think he turned into a dark type whenever he evolved. Uh, let me go for the crunch. Nice. Okay. Our encounter here. Okay, I really want to dodge people. Oh, Lombre. I like Lombre. I mean, he has to evolve with a, um, a water stone, which I have, I'm pretty sure, but... He's not really something I want to evolve with a... Like, unless they change Ludicolo's um, moveset, because once he evolves, he actually doesn't get anything. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to name him Debt. Because he collects water... And he's like a debt collector for water. 
Yeah. That makes sense. Ooh, a Voltor. I'm worried all of his mon are going to explode now. Okay. That was very scary. Um, I forget if there's one more encounter or not. Am I scared of a Nidoran right now? I really think I am. Um, hmm. Let's just switch out to Felix. I used my special attack, so he's going to get obliterated by this. He's going to get obliterated. Thank you, Felix. Nice. People keep doing that where they have, like, most of the line and then not the final form of the line, and I keep getting, like, kind of psyched out. Because I'm, like, obviously expecting the... See, like this, they have Magnemite and Magneton. Now are they going to have Magnezone? Because I know it's... A... See? That makes sense. Ow. I hit myself in the head. Okay. Um. I know there's an, an item. Oh, I didn't mean down here, but I meant up there. Interesting. Whenever, like, the lightning strikes, it, uh, changes the color of that item in the picture. Lots of magnetons. And it, now, I was about to say Hitmonchan. No, he would have a fun time, too, with it, because he has Fire Punch. Okay. Uh... I only got ten kinds, and I need thirty. He owns the Viper... For Zangus, and I like Zangus way better, so I apparently should have caught that Survivor. Ooh, okay, we are definitely switching out there. And we can't be burned, so get out of my face, Arcanine. Oop, he's still faster than me. Hmm, Torakat. I feel like I want to play with Primarina a little bit more. But we are going to go ahead and heal. Just to be safe. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet. That did not work out for me. Let's go for it again. Okay. Thank you. Jeez, Primarina, that was not a very good opening show for you. I should have used Sing, though. That's what it really wants to do. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure this thing resists both my stabs. So, I'm going to go for the Stun Spore. And the Leech Seed. And then we're just going to Mega Drain. You know, it's interesting. I don't think Charge Beam is raising his special attack like how it normally does. Did it use rest? It has snore. And a retan- I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a dog barking like really loud. And I feel like if I can hear it through my headphones, then you guys can definitely hear it on the mic. I'm just very happy my dog is being nice and calm right now. She's actually just laying right at my feet. She's a good dog. Most of the time, you know. She can be a butt sometimes, but, you know, doesn't mean I don't love her. It just means that I don't like her in that moment. You know, I... I do still kind of feel like I overleveled just a little bit 
but I think it was necessary in the long run especially. Because I really feel like I'm still just going to get slapped around. I'm trying to see if there's anything else to do this way. Hmm, so there's Lotet and Lombre. I wonder if I got the rare encounter Lombre there. Oh, Durant? I like Durant. Kind, kind of. Oh, fun fact. Again, did you know that Heatmore has a signature move called Fire Lash? Oops, there's Snorlax. It's a, like, base 80 move with, like, I think 95 accuracy and physical. Notice how I said that all kind of questioning because I don't fully remember. And you're gone. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, this is my boy, you know. It's like baby me. Since uh, my mascot is a polywhirl. Oop, that's quillfish. I do not want to fight that. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm really surprised, again, like, he didn't have, um... Where am I going? I definitely do not remember this area. Have I fought this guy? Yeah, I fought that guy. I don't remember this area in the original games. Okay, I'm gonna stop speeding up for a second, and if I want to go fast, I'll just ride my bike for a little while. Just so we can just kind of, you know, listen to the music a little bit in the background. Because it's pretty good music, you know. It's that Gen 1 quality music. What's this? I wonder if this someone who's going to give me a static. Super. I called it. Thank you very much. And I 100% promise that I did not, like, speed ahead and, like, find out what it was. That was, like, just a pure guess. Because it felt like it was very much added in. Nice. Um, I'll write in the static here in a second whenever I get that other item that's up here. But a static Bulbasaur is pretty solid, if you ask me. Especially depending on his ability. How do you get over? Can you only get over there by, um, Surf? Because that'd be kind of bummy right now. Yeah, I think that's the only way over there. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I can't get that one either because I don't have Rock Smash. What if I can... Nope. last thing Eevee would have been another really cool encounter um so I want to look at that Bulbasaur heal up and I think today we're just going to go ahead and get get the gym no no we're not going to get the gym done because we have to do the SS and that's right I'm dumb I, I completely spaced that I goofed I donked I, third thing, let's check out these guys, um, shell armor, that's nice, it already has a full moveset of five, that's crazy, he got magnitude and boldles, he did have arena trap, interesting, um, swift swim, it's okay, Oh yeah, I had a Bulbasaur, that's right, I, I should have known. This This was my Bulbasaur's moveset before I, I ended up resetting the first time because it didn't record properly. At level 10, it still doesn't have a Grass-type move. And this one does have Overgrow. I mean, thanks for reminding me why I didn't use the Bulbasaur that I got. Okay, um... So we're going to go ahead and make our way to the SSN here. And I think it's going to be like we're going to get on the SSN. And then we're just going to go ahead and take a stop right there. 
and what is happening? Okay, we can't hurt our bike here. What is going on? Uh, um, uh, um. There is a Manaphy in front of me. Um, I'm gonna run away from it right now. I just need to see. I. So. This was clearly like more of a side way to go. So I want to check to see, just walk really. S yeah, this is like a complete side way. We're, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna go see if we can catch a Manaphy right now. I, okay, let's do it. I have no idea if we're supposed to do this right now or what, but it's level 20 mana fee. Well, actually it didn't even have the level thing next to its level, which is kind of confusing. So we'll go ahead and paralyze it. And we'll go, we'll confuse it, see if it'll hurt itself. And while we're doing that, I'm going to write in the Bulbasaur and this mana fee. Okay. Um, the only thing I could imagine even trying to go for right now is um, go into Primarina and go for like Bubble or Water Gun. I'm going to see what happens when I throw a Pokeball right now. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try another one. I do have a timer ball, so it's not the worst thing. Okay, it wiggled once, so that's something. It snaps out of confusion and use charm. That's fine. Um, let's go for another confuse ray. I'm gonna do a little bit of speed up here. Okay, it got through. It got through both the confusion and the paralysis. And it got through confusion again. Okay, hit yourself, Manaphy. Thank you. Oh, it did those two wiggles. I caught the mana fee. I, I guess. I'm going to name this mana fee Charmed. Just because it has a move charm. Um... That was a very um, surprising turn of events. I'm gonna see if I can run back and check that mana fee out. Good. I cannot believe that I just caught a mana fee. It's got water absorb, that's super nice. The bubble water support charm, supersonic. And it's the, oh uh, gosh, I think they're like pixie legendaries. So it's a hundred across the board. So it's got really nice stats. And it looks like Hardy might be like a special defense boosting nature. Would be a guess for myself. Okay, um, we're just going to go ahead and get on the SSN still. I'm not going to take out the mana for right now because I just finished grinding. And that would be kind of annoying. So we're just going to go right here. Right here. 
and we're gonna go ahead and call this episode right here so i hope you guys enjoyed uh you know encounters 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 and legendary capture who knew no one not even me of course i don't know why i keep saying it like that but i didn't know either um so if you guys enjoyed this episode uh please leave a like subscribe um if you're really interest, interested in what i have to do in the future uh you can follow me on twitter the link is always in the description down below um and i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you next time bye Thank <laughs> you.